Discover the essentials of using the HTML image tag to add images to your web pages. So let's get started. The image tag is a staple in HTML. It's used to embed images into your web page, and it's self closing, which means it doesn't need an end tag. The source attribute is where you put the path to your image. Here are some examples that use different scenarios for specifying the source. When the image file is located in the same directory as your HTML file, you simply use the file name. If the image is within a subdirectory, include the directory name followed by a slash before the file name. For an image that's in a parent directory, use dot dot slash to navigate up one level from the current directory. To embed an image hosted on a remote server, provide the URL to the image. The alt attribute stands for alternative text and it provides a textual description of an image. It's important to use for several reasons, including the following. First, if the image fails to load for some reason, the alt text will be displayed. Second, for users who rely on screen readers due to visual impairments, the alternate text can be read out loud. Third, it helps search engines understand the image. It's generally recommended to keep the alternate text short and directly describe the image without unnecessary phrases like, this is an image of. You can also style your image with CSS. Let's start by setting the width to 200 pixels and the height to auto. Next, we'll give it a solid border. Now we'll round the corners. Well, that wraps up this tutorial on the image tag. Experiment with different CSS styles to discover what works well with your images. Thanks for watching and please subscribe and leave a comment.